must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go. Back. Wow. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah blah flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible trip. <laughs> Ooh, rocket! Come on, Rocket. What? Read the Guess room. What? Guess what? You ain't the only one here. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. <laughs> I rather die. You spelled it wrong too. Than without. I'm gonna change his outfit. I love his outfit, well, but I hate it. <laughs> so, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. <laughs> Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. <laughs> Let's turn his outfit back to the way it was. Harsh! Excuse me, I ain't the- You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again- My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm- I do not wish to discuss it. So, uh, Drex, you feeling sucky because Quill took my side? He explicitly did not. As far as I know, we ain't turning this ship around and heading back to the Macriarch. I'll take that as a win. It is Matriarch. I know! I was ma- Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. <laughs> Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it. Shooting at the walls of. Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. The warrior. <laughs> well, I am the warrior, and heart to heart you win. <laughs> <laughs> See, just singing. All right, I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? 
Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with a slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Watch it, Peter! You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. What is wrong with her? We had to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where Gru picked up that one. Oh, so I guess those are all groups. Ability. I feel like I've seen this before. Did Gru pick it up in nowhere? <sighs> Bet our comms array wouldn't be all chewed up if we'd kept the llama in here. Yeah, well, a little bit is all we'd achieve before getting brain scrubbed and tied up to faith reactors. I see you. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's a rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. <laughs> Reformed criminals, as in past tense. We're legit now, remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan? Or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? Thanos! Obviously. Obviously, he yeah. the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable and then BAM! Player two is joined. Just, how'd you do it? How'd you take Thanos down? With sorcery. <laughs> Come okay. on. Really? Really? After Thanos murdered my family, rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name. And his brother Cronus. Sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire. Finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. When I awoke, I was changed. I could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force, feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Uh, wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. And I believe that you believe this happened, it's just... It's pretty out there, even for space stuff. Regardless, I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. And there... I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days. Each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. But when I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and... I was being hailed as a hero. For killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. What was it like Drax in the kiln? You would not have survived the cycle. Why? I maybe know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. It's really that bad? Worse. However, after the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath, 
I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. I saw his hideous visage in every shadow, and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It was not my place to judge. So... how'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. I surrendered. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness, and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. And we're not going back to prison anytime soon. That remains to be seen. All this is happening in like three cycles. I just realized that. Shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. Shoo, block off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Hey, group. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> uh, Groot can laugh? You and I Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. Eat the makeup. I am Groot. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away. Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corral was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh. I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. <sighs> what was I supposed to say? Hey kid, hey I kid, hooked up I with hooked your, up mom. your mom. I might be your dad. <laughs> Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yondu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. I can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. Corel 
maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So, I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers, and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki. And she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. All right, well, but after all that talking, Let's see what's going to happen somebody next. somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those church idiots. <laughs> it ain't cowardice, it's common sense. The contact Wait, cosmos. Are you siding anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy, where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmos balls been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar. And ask World Mind for help instead. Oh, what? we're going to Xandar? Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. These are the cowards who defiled the God damn it, this fucker. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> uh, lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> oh, shoot. Space battle? Oh, hell yeah. Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scow worth salvaging. Groot, find us a channel with less butthole content. The blockers are forcing it open somehow. We got a piece of that guy. Oh, I hate those. These guys have really bad timing. Starting to wish I'd stayed in dog jail. How much money did she offer these guys? More than that strategy is worth. These ships 
just ain't dying fast enough. That's a fixable problem. That's true, that is a fixable problem. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are five of you. Ain't a bad question. Only one lethal lame brain left. One is all we need. <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. He wasn't here? So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. Oh, big ass cruiser. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's, well, I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. What am I... Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Why'd it do that? Four one eighty flip is fucking terrible. No! Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. <laughs> I is really pissing me off. This guy's starting to sound like rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. <laughs> Are they like golden? Yeah, I don't think the scrap sacks care if the galaxy's under sea. You know, contractors. That was a bad hit. At least I'm not. Just kill them already! There's an art to this! Ha! Quill just tried to kill Splay to the deadliest woman in the galaxy! <laughs> Stay in there, Cap. Stay still, and I'll show you. <laughs> Taking heat. Yeah. We really gotta take better care of the Milano. Yeah, you were a ship washing a wax when this is all over. Right after you patch up all the holes. I am Clary. Yes. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll yeah, worry about Lady nonsense. Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Oh, we're going to Xandar, guys. I can't wait. Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Over to Channel Group. Let's see what's going on. Hey, what happened to, to Xandar? I am Groot. Not to leave. Our supplies are in them. Need access to facilities. Swell not to leave them. Won't do so much now. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> To Novacore headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Stand for galactic. <laughs> I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How may we assist you? Your crippling indecision vexes me, Peter Quill. 
We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not every. Oh, fuck you! We, we are aware of the current threat. Oh, uh, wait, the hell? And of no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. Peter, please pick something. After scanning your ship, our near perfect algorithms pre selected several officer choices. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. How about future crime? Great idea! Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. Groot wants us to report a crime. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. Hey, Wallberry, got any I ideas? Let's try them all, actually. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. I want to pay our attention. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. Wait, what? what? A mass delusion known as the promise. Is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy. galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind is collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop How it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth can cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. Is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And I reject the conclusion. Me. It can be stopped. Maybe not by us. But you're a war hero. You defeated the Shatari 12 years ago. The, the resistance and its allies defeated the Shatari, not us alone. And not before the Shatari had destroyed our home world and decimated our people. Yeah, I don't like it either, bud. Should have run when we had the chance. We have already processed 12,472,865 combat scenarios. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is 0.3%. It's pretty low. a big number. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. Now, if you'll excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical. We depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our That's primary fun, directive. We have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless sacrifice. For all sacrifices. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. 
We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We do not experience emotion, therefore we cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a Class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We recognize <laughs> that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional, emotional state is not our primary concern. We did, we did not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our data banks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock. The Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished. In the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Alright, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end and you spend our cash on the Novacore fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. That's true. Alright, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Chomp Quill. I know. Those promises becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm good. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. <laughs> if they right. find us, must be freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. Damn, bro. 
I feel that. I need some rest. Screw Noble Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. At least I paid my fine. Oh, Look, that's good. it's our great leader. Should I even talk to him? Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You? Yeah, I don't. Forgot yeah, your toast. I... Really? He's sleeping in my bed. Really? Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. What the f... That's how you got in? What the Screw it. And the bed smells. Great. <laughs> I didn't know that I'm going to turn it off. Song's not copyrighted. We have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? <laughs> Weird hair. How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> there. This place is making me nervous. More nervous than when you yelled at me to go fix stuff? Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, these are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. What the hell is going on here? Go. This is a dream. It has to be a dream. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Guys, don't let it get to you! Won't have to tell me twice! What's going on here? We cannot outrun 
Let the beast pit her grow! Keep going, Drax! Honor my death! Drax! Anybody? Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? What are you doing? Heroes don't run. None of this makes any sense! No! This is all wrong! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. It's my fault, isn't it? I'll take that, you ugly monster thing! Ah, uh, okay, Peter I see Quill. what I did there. Peter Quill, you 